What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's break down some college basketball games for Wednesday, February 8th slate of games. Let's take a look at the leaderboard before we get into tonight's picks. Trey, start us off. 3-0, and oh, baby. That's a clean sweep. Bring out the broom. I went 1-0 and oh yesterday. I had Eastern Michigan plus the points against Buffalo, and it might have been the highest scoring game in college basketball this season. Probably not, but it was a crazy game to watch. Eastern Michigan ended up losing that game but covered. They lost 97-102. to 102. Gotta love that. In college basketball, usually it's a bunch of bricks, so it's nice to see some balls go through the hoop. Yeah, Trey, I had Wake Forest at home against North Carolina, plus one and a half. They won outright convincingly. They were up by 25 points in this game in the second half, and then something happened at the two-minute 30 mark in this game, and I'm going to put up a graphic here. Viewer discretion is advised. If you had the under in this game, I'm very sorry. At the 231 mark, the score was 62-74. to 74. In two minutes of game time, UNC scored 23 in Wake's, and Wake scored 18 points. That's what they call a bad beat for the people who had the under. UNC went into hack mode trying to cut into the lead, and that caused underbetters everywhere to rethink life and overbetters everywhere rejoicing. So hopefully you guys have the right side with the over-under, but we cash with Wake plus one and a half in the game. Teets? I had Pittsburgh versus Louisville. Pittsburgh was favored by minus 15. They were 15, and they won 91-57. They won by 34. Uh, like I said, I would have taken them almost minus 42 whenever we were talking about it. Uh, I was pretty close. So that's a, that's a pretty easy win. Yeah, Louisville once again showing they're one of the worst teams in college basketball this season. Let's take a look at tonight's games. 3-0 last night. Let's do it again tonight. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I'm going to go with Syracuse and Florida State. Got to love some good ACC basketball. Florida State has had a huge fall from grace over the last few years. I remember just not so long ago they were uh, making some noise in March Madness, so it's kind of sad to see them be like the worst team in ACC. Syracuse is not much better, but they've at least been respectable this season. And Syracuse does have a better road record then Florida State has a better home record. So that does need to be noted, and that's probably why Syracuse is favored in this game. But 62% of Syracuse's points come from three players. Garrard at 16.6 points per game, Mintz at 15.4, and Jesse Edwards at 14 points per game. Edwards is their heart and soul. He's been averaging a double-double with, with the 14 points per game and 10.1 rebounds. I expect Edwards to eat some barbecue chicken all night long against Florida State. And the reason for that is Florida State cannot stop a cold defensively. They are ranked 327th in the nation when it comes to points allowed per game, allowing over 75 points per game. I think the Orange are going to score a lot of points. I was maybe going to pick the over in this game, but I do think Syracuse should win this game very convincingly because the trends are good for it and so are my gut. The road team in this matchup is 5-0 and ATS in the last five games. And Syracuse is 4-1 and ATS in their last five road games. They're also 4-1-1 and ATS in their last six games overall. So give me the Orange as uh, road favorites in this matchup. Yeah, Trey, I like that pick. Um, tonight, I'm going to go with a Big 12 game, and we're going to take a trip to West Virginia. Iowa State is traveling to West Virginia, and I'm going to take the Mountaineers here money line. They are minus three at home against the number 11 team in the nation. That alone should raise some red flags because West Virginia is third to last in the conference this year. Uh, but this is the Big 12. All these teams are good, and all these teams struggle on the road. The only teams in the Big 12 with a winning record on the road is Kansas and Texas, both of them sitting at 4-3 and three on the year. I had Iowa State against Texas Tech two games ago for the Cyclones before they beat Kansas on their home court. In that game, Iowa State went up 23 points and then blew it in the second half, losing by three in overtime to Texas Tech. This team cannot go on the road and consistently play good basketball. One of the best defensive performances I've ever seen, uh, especially this season, one of the best defensive performances I've seen this season. Uh, now they get West Virginia, a team who just beat Oklahoma 93-61 to on their home court. And it's not like West Virginia is bad, right? They played TCU, lost by four. They played Auburn, won that game by three. They played Texas Tech, won that game by 15. They played Texas at home, they lost by eight. Those are just the last five games. They are a very competitive team. At home this season, West Virginia is 10-3, and three, and on the road, Iowa State is 2-5. and five the third worst record in the Big 12 on the road for the Cyclones. Both of these defenses are very good. Iowa State, obviously the better defense, allowing 61.2 points per game compared to West Virginia's 69.1 points per game. But the Mountaineers are better on the offensive side of the ball, scoring 77 compared to Iowa State's 70. 
Um, having the home court is everything this year in the Big 12, and I'm gonna and I'm not gonna start fading my gut right now. Um, I'm gonna take the Mountaineers in a game that makes no sense. Money line at home against the number 11 team in the nation. I'm taking money line for tonight because I feel like this spread is gonna creep towards a pick 'em as the day goes on tomorrow. So I'm gonna take West Virginia here money line against Iowa State. Seats. I'm going to kind of take another step away from some power five basketball, you know, the big uh, divisions. And I'm actually going to look at a team that I've been talking about at least twice so far this season. That's Charleston. Uh, They're going up against UNC Wilmington and the spread is about minus nine and a half for Charleston at home. Um, Charleston for me is one and one right now. So this is kind of a make or break to see if I continue to ride with Charleston or if I have to retire them and kind of look elsewhere. Uh, Charleston in their last five, they're three and two. They lost to Hofstra by four and they lost to Drexel. Uh, they did beat Delaware by 17 and Northeastern by 36. Uh, UNC Wilmington is four and one over the last five, uh, but they did lose to Hofstra 70 to 46. So the, the easy, uh, comparison, they got blown out by Hofstra, whereas Charleston gave them a game, um, Charleston offensively scores just about 80 points a game, gives up 69, and they have five players in that lineup that score 10 or more points at any given time they can take over. Uh, Wilmington has two double-digit scorers, six total of seven or more. They're kind of specifically being uh, carried by the two double-digit scorers in Jamari Thomas and Trezarian White, who both averaged 16 points. Uh, last time that they played, Charleston won 71-69 on the road. Uh, so I feel like the spread is because Charleston is overall the better basketball team. Uh, so I think Charleston is going to kind of show out for this one, especially with them all being in the top of their conference and uh, win this one double digits. All right, guys, three more picks for college basketball tomorrow. And that will do it for our college basketball picks and predictions for February 8th slated games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video. And thanks for watching. <clears throat> Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.